What are we doing? Hitting your snooze button three times, sleeping until 10 a.m. Look, I'm no life coach, but that ain't getting us anywhere. Okay, so what exactly are we talking about here? What's the reason for this video? It's to increase productivity. I think if there's a magic pill that just helped you get more shit done throughout the day, everybody would take it. But that's not how the world works. So let's break this whole thing down. Where does it start? It starts right when you wake up and the alarm goes off. And then you have a choice. That snooze button, nine extra minutes of sleep, Sounds like the most comforting thing in the world at the time, but it's already losing one battle of the day, our first battle. And that's kind of how I break everything in my life down. Small little battles, small choices, decisions that we make every day. I'm gonna try to put this in the most simple terms I can think of. The snooze button is the enemy. Step two in your morning routine is making your bed. Now look, actually come here. Neither of my parents were in the military, but my father used to always remind me, you win the first battle of the day by making your bed. If you don't win that one, your chances of winning any other ones throughout the day drop drastically. That looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I don't have a quarter, but I'm pretty sure they used to do this right here. Um, okay. It, Point is it looks good, and now we're ready to take on the rest of the day. Now, just because you make your bed doesn't guarantee you success throughout the day. You might lose every single battle for the rest of that day, but I guess at the end of the day, you can come home to a made bed, feel good about that, get some rest, and go back after it the next day. Class half full. Finally, number three is eating. Will Smith had a great quote about eating, and I saw it on a TikTok of all places but it hit home for me and I wanna share it with you. And I don't wanna mess up any words, so here we go. He said the center of bringing any dream to fruition is self-discipline. Something as simple as food and eating. It's not as much about your body as it is about your mind. It's getting command of that mind. Why do things that aren't in your own best interest? I think the answer to that question is the fact that we've been told so many times that it doesn't really matter, or maybe we're telling ourselves that that we're just too small and insignificant in this grand scheme of the world and universe that we don't even understand. Now that may be true, however, that mindset only lands you in the group of people that makes up the 99% who just stroll through life, end up in a fog, and don't really leave their mark. So I guess at the end of the day, we all have to decide which group we want to be a part of, the 99% or the 1%. Before I lose you here, let's go over one last time those three habits that you're going to change that'll increase your productivity and discipline. Let's do this.
And by the way, that's pretty impressive to be able to write while holding the camera. If you don't think so, you go try it. As you can see here, starting to become a really big post-it note fan. I'll always see that, no snooze. Make your bed, and finally, win the breakfast battle. Anyways, these three habits pretty much came out of 75 hard, and we're gonna get into more of the 75 hard stuff in a vlog in the coming weeks once I get healthy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe as always. We'll be back next week.